the polar bear, often seen lounging around the sea ice looking for its next meal, a seal. I take you to a place in the world that is experiencing the impacts of climate change more rapidly than anywhere else, Svalbard, Norway. The bears here could possibly be adapting to climate change and maybe changing their diets to reindeer. Polar bears here, like polar bears everywhere, are dependent on the sea ice for catching their food and they're doing without sea ice for an ever longer period because of global warming. And the warming rate here is faster, the sea ice decline has been faster, and so this is one of the most vulnerable of the populations uh, in the world. Florian Ledoux, a photographer and resident of Arctic Norway, has been documenting the bears for a decade and has actually seen these changes in their hunting behavior. Yeah, they would just, you know, kill a reindeer, eat, sleep, move a kilometer on the shoreline or on the mountain slope, and just, you know, above the, above the sea, and uh, just, you know, walk there and take a reindeer the day after. Recently, I had a chance to visit Svalbard, and we actually got a chance to witness a polar bear on the side of a mountain, just like Florian described. I wonder if he's waiting for those. They are further up, too. Right I here. see some. Dr. Stephen Amstrup told me that the number of polar bears observed hunting reindeer is still very small. The bears that are on shore are hungry. And like, like any kind of bear, a black bear or a grizzly bear, well, they will eat anything they can. Some of them have figured out how to hunt reindeer and uh, the reindeer can supplement and maybe prolong the period of time that, they're, that they can stay on land and still survive. But it's not a sufficient alternative food for small numbers to persist in the long run. He goes on to say, 10 to 12,000 years ago, there were polar bears as far south as the Baltic Sea. When the world warmed at a much slower pace than these days, southern bears didn't just figure out a way to make a living on land, they just disappeared. He says he's not optimistic that any of these alternative foods, as interesting as they might be, will sustain polar bears in the face of this prolonged and incredibly fast warming time.